<laughs> well, fuck me running. If it ain't Lincoln Clay. Surprised to see me, I'll see. Mm, I heard about Sammy and Ellis. Tough break. I guess you made it out okay. Speak of them once more, and I'll slice you from here to asshole. Let's go. We're taking a drive. Assuming I don't have a choice here. What do you think? Lead the way. Send a new ride to the French War. Aye. I'll get around to you right away. Hi there. Watch where you're going. I know they bring in money. One car is promised. That's a big hill. Well, you know I stayed away. I ain't stepped foot in the hollow since November of 62. Almost six years. I know. Can you at least tell me where we're going? The Acadia. It's where Tommy Marcano holds his jungle fights, right? It is. And you've been recruiting black fighters for him? I have. Good. Because I want in. What? Why? I wanted you to know I'd have told you. If I'm sticking my ass out like that, I need to know why. Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you? Ah, you gonna kill us! Motherfucker, you lucky to be alive after what you did to Sammy. You really think he wouldn't notice you stealing all that money? Look, I paid for that a hundred times over. Six years banished from the only place I ever call home. Christ. I couldn't even go see my mama on her deathbed. You made your choice. And now it's time to make another one. And I do this. You get a clean slate. Come and go through the hollow as you please. Fuck. Okay. I hear if you win out, Tommy meets you in person. That true? He likes the size of the winners. See if there's someone he wants to bring on regular. Or if they're just a one-time deal. Where's this happening? You trying to wreck it? You gonna kill us! Where's this happening? Usually up there in his office. One of his guys will meet you in the locker room after the fight. He'll take you to time it. All right. Fighters don't take the front entrance. We go in through the side door. Locker room's down here on the end. Hang back, boys. Motherfucker needs a doctor. Just dump him in an alley. Let nature take its course. You good now. Go on. 
How you, Neville? Where you at, out, see? All right. I gotta go make the arrangements. Give them your name and such. You go on and get changed. Who you got with you tonight, LC? New guy. New guy looks tough. My money's staying on the brawler. I gotta ask you something, LC. What's that? Do all you niggas love beating the fuck out of each other? <laughs> nah, we'll beat the fuck out of anyone. <laughs> Even you. So what happens if we get caught? Probably what you think. <sighs> For a chance to go home again. It's worth it. No matter what happens, we should go. This is it. You nervous? Should I be? Guess that depends on where all this ends. You're gonna head through these doors and they announce your name. Then make your way to your corner. Where are you going? Oh, I'll meet you there. This part of the show is all about you. They love showing off their fighting niggas. Through here. And the jungle fights continue, boys! The next challenger to face Nick Boom Boom Beaumont comes in at over six feet tall, weighing approximately 220 pounds. This is Jackknife Johnson! Had to start something. Motherfuckers oh. over here! <laughs> uh, this ain't tea time! Yeah. Ah. Oh. to the brawler. You gotta keep moving and don't let him get you in the corner. Stay out of the corner. Got it. <laughs> Couple goddamn tomato cans we got here. Fuck your fight. Motherfuckers? Well, yeah. So how do I beat him? You hit him really, really hard. Uh, ah, goddamn tomato cans ah. we got here. Fucking fight. to the locker room and collect your winnings. Where are you heading? Me? I got business to attend to. Okay, watch out. 
to self. Few niggas really know how to brawl. Uh, my respect, that's for fucking sure. Lucky. You must think I'm some kind of goddamn moron coming in here like you did. I've never been one to shy away from a calculated risk. Maybe you should have. I'll mix some vegetable oil in it. Makes the gasoline thick. Sticky. We're just gonna let it soak in a little bit. Work his way into every nook and cranny. That way when I light it, that shit's gonna burn like napalm. And you, you are gonna hurt like no one's hurt before. Fuck you. Guess you ready to die. You still be conscious as the flames creep up your legs. But as they bind, <coughs> you be hit in the gut with a sickening revelation. Before you die, you gonna feel your pecker burn. <coughs> 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 We can work something out. Only thing needs working out of your funeral arrangements. That's that, then. Sure looks that way. You know, Sal wanted me to go to law school. Work for some big company. Maybe run for office. Do something decent with your goddamn life, you understand? Should have listened to him. It's in the blood, you know. <laughs> yeah. You are who you are. No point arguing with yourself about it. Fuck you. Don't let me bite. Please. Don't worry. Lou and Sal will be along no. shortly. No, 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 oh, fuck, fuck, ah. Ah. You don't even know how fucked you are. Damn, get him. Your time is up, motherfucker.
All units, negative visual on suspect. Repeat visual. What happened to the money plates that Sal Marcano stole from the Federal Reserve? I don't recall. Georgie, get your ass in here. Your Uncle Tommy's dead. I thought you'd like to know. Sorry, Pops. I, oh, man, I know what he meant to you. And... He was a smart kid, your Uncle Tommy. Could have been anything. I tried to tell him, go to college. Even offered to pay for it. <laughs> Instead, he went to Cuba. It's not your fault. Yeah. Well, we're pretty well fucked now, you understand? I, mean, I was counting on that counterfeit money without him. Yeah. Well, now there's got to be something we can do. You go put the squeeze on people. Get to increase what they're kicking up. It ain't gonna be enough. Just because you poke holes in someone doesn't mean you're gonna get anything extra out of them. You could always call Leo Galanti. Ask him to front... Fuck him! The whole reason I'm building this goddamn casino is to get out from under them worthless fucks. Now I bring in the commission, they're gonna wanna cut everything. God damn it. Go on, get the hell out of here. I gotta make a call. Get out! Shit. Leo! <laughs> How the fuck are you? It's Sal. Yeah? L listen, I, I got something I need to discuss. I tried to reconcile the part of me that helped Lincoln with the part of me that vowed to follow the teachings of Jesus Christ. But I can't. You know what I remember? I remember watching the news and learning they had gunned down Dr. King. I remember watching people lash out, riot, because that's all they had left. All the while, Lincoln's in the other room, barely clinging to life. Maybe that's why I did what I did. There you are. Pull up a seat, let's get cracking. South Downs belongs to us. Tommy was smart and set up some solid, low-key rackets there. Should be a smooth transition for us. I'm all in on this turf, brother. My guys locked it down just like your ass. But I still got the bitter taste of our last gathering in my mouth. Do right by me this time. To say I'm biding my time would be a fucking understatement. I got no idea where your mind's at, but my patience is running short. We're on a good run here, Lincoln. I see no reason anything should change. Now, not using my guys to lock down a district makes it real fucking messy if you want us to run shit, but... Hell, you pay me to clean up the mess. Share the wealth, Lincoln. Anytime you want to make a call, I'm good with that. Give me the keys to the kingdom, partner. Throw a cripple a bone, lassie. Make the right choice here, and I'll whip up some fresh bucatini for you. Folks in the holla expect us to stick together. It's never I'm an easy answer, respect trust by me. Me. This one's all you, Bert. No, no. I can't believe I ever let you talk me into this. 
I'm not just gonna sit here and allow you to lie to my fucking face. We're all after the same thing, Cassandra. Mixing it up between us isn't getting us anywhere. My patience, my understanding, it's gone, Lincoln. You correct this course we own, or there ain't no words that can walk us back from where we headed. Hey, hey! I know you're used to your little Haitian boys bowing to your every whim, but that shit don't work around here, Cassandra. So cool it. You've said your piece, Cassandra. Let it go. Y'all don't have to like the decisions I make. And to be honest, your egos are the least of my fucking concerns. Way I see it, you fall in line or you fall out altogether. Now let's go make some fucking money. <laughs>